Hello again, this is Hayes Q. Jones, your DVD and Blu-ray baller on a budget. And today we're going to get into my Twilight Time collection. Uh, as you can see here, if I get a little closer, between some of my 80s Blu-rays, my Batman coffee cup given to me by my son, and my Friday the 13th collection, I have my Twilight Time collection. With Twilight Time, if you're unfamiliar with them, they usually make 5,000 copies of a particular title, they, then they don't make any more. So give me a second, let me get this out, and we'll go over these in a minute. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to my channel, I greatly appreciate it. Hold on. Okay, I am back. These Blu-rays make up my Twilight Time collection. Some of these I've seen. I think most of these I haven't. Usually they're rather expensive, usually 40 bucks or more. I usually catch them either on an eBay auction or when they have their sales usually two or three times a year. Let's jump into this. This is a one of my favorite ones. Eight Heads in a Duffel Bag with Joe Pesci. This is kind of a comedy gangster movie. And this, I believe he did this right after Goodfellas. So he still kind of has that Goodfellas character feel to it. Eight Heads in a Duffel Bag. Nine to Five. I haven't seen this in years with Dolly Parton, Lily Tomlin, and Jane Fonda. A very funny, actually quite appropriate movie for the times dealing with sexual harassment in the workplace. Nine to five. Absolute beginners. I got this, I think, for like seven dollars. The main reason I got this was because Charday has a scene in it. I don't know too much about it. I, Got this just for that Saturday scene, and I went to it, and it's worth eight bucks for it. Absolute beginners. I believe David David Boy is the star in this. We have that close range with Christopher Walken and Sean Penn. I saw this a while ago. Don't even remember what it's about. At close range. Oh, and what these cool about? Let's go back to these nice about the Twilight Time. They usually come with a little booklet. And just gives you a little information. And the movie. Not the fire booklet. Next we have Bedazzled, which I actually thought the Brendan Fraser, Elizabeth Hurley was the original. This is actually original with Raquel Welch, Stanley Donnelly Bedazzled. Haven't watched this yet. I'll probably do a double feature watching this with the original. Well, with this with the remake. Bedazzled. Peter Cook, Dudley Moore, and Eleanor Braun. I thought it was oh, with Raquel Welch as Lust. Quite appropriate. Raquel Welch was a shit back in the day. The Believers. Good voodoo movie. All I can think of is Emilio Estevez's dad, Martin Sheen. Martin Sheen stars in The Believers. We 
very good voodoo flick. Has a really cool spider scene in there. Freaks my wife out. She hates spiders. The Big Fix. And another one I got, I believe, under $10. <clears throat> under the Twilight sale. I like Richard Dreyfuss, so this looks like a comedy crime film. The Big Fix. Which you have got a little fuzzy afro going there. Black Widow with Deborah Winger. Uh, it seemed like I watched this years ago. I don't remember too much about the plot. Deborah Winger, Teresa Russell. Black Widow. The Blob, this is a fun watch. The original Blob. No, this is a remake, I believe. Or is this the original? Nope, this is, nope, this is a remake of The Blob. The original had Steve McQueen in there. Uh, the Criterion Collection of that. So, really fun remake of the original Blob. Next we have Born Free, Cat Lover, I actually had three cats, a gone way to cat heaven though, a uh, great film about raising lions in the wild, Born Free. Another well, one bad thing about Twilight Time, never have any digital copies. But, oh well. Breaking the Weight, love this movie. Can't say I'm a, a huge fan of classical music. I do listen to it from time to time if I'm trying to study or whatever for whatever I have to concentrate on. But love the soundtrack of this. Uh, just a really cool movie, Breaking Away. Yeah, less movie less about bike riding, more about being who you really are, I guess, or who you want to be. Breaking away. Bring me the head of Alfredo Garcia. Again, I saw this. I remember getting the DVD at Blockbuster way back in the day. And I believe all of these are not all of these. Most of these are probably out of print. He's going to only make 5,000 copies after that. They don't make any more. Unless someone else picks up the rights to the movie. Like an Arrow. Or a Criterion. Bring me the head of Alfredo Garcia. My man Denzel. One, one of the few Denzel movies I have not seen yet. Devil in a Blue Dress. So. It was Denzel. I'm pretty sure it was pretty cool. But. I haven't gotten around to be in the mood to watch this particular Denzel movie, Devil in a Blue Dress. Next we have Dr. Doolittle. Again, I love my <clears throat> fantasy movies. This was the original Dr. Doolittle before Eddie Murphy remade it. I believe in the 90s or the 2000s. I believe it was the 90s when Eddie Murphy did it. Dr. Doolittle, Rex Harrison. Fright Night. Love this movie. A fun vampire film a little sticker
Roddy McDowell. Don't know this guy's name. Don't know if he did too much after this Fright Night. Gloria. This is... I don't see a... This is somewhat of a revenge flick, I guess. I'm trying to think of the movie... The leading actress from Empire. She did a movie with basically the same storyline. It's Gloria. <clears throat> Got some sticker left in here. Sydney Poitier and guess who's coming to dinner? Dealing with uh, interracial relationships in the '60s. So they're still somewhat controversial now. They're even more controversial back then in the '60s. Guess who's coming to dinner? And Bernie Mac also did a remake with Ashton Kutcher. It's called Guess Who. Also a funny film. Next, I love this. There's actually two in like Flint and our man Flint. The best way I can describe this character is part James Bond. Part Rosebud from American Pimp. If you don't know who Rose, Rosebud is, and that's Rosebud with two Ds. That's for a double dose of this pimp. And you need to see the movie American Pimp. But that's who Flint is. Just a very fun, fun character. Uh, if you ask them the right person or the wrong person, they might say he's very sexist in this role. But just a very fun movie. And like Flint. Next we have The Killer Elite with James Caan. Haven't watched this one. James Caan and Robert Duvall. I don't think Robert Duvall ever had hair. I've never seen anything with a picture of Robert Duvall with hair. I think he was born with a receding hairline. La Bamba, the Richie, Richie Valent story, I believe. When Lou Diamond Phillips was hot. La Bamba. Mind Warp. I've watched part of this. I haven't seen all of this. Uh, I believe Bruce Campbell's in here from Evil Dead. You know what a character Bruce Campbell is, so you know it's got to be, if nothing else, somewhat interesting. A booklet, Mind Warp. This is the late. Can't think of his name. Robin Williams. Sorry about that. Uh, brain farta. Early senior citizen moment. Mo moment. Moscow on the Hudson with um, Robin Williams. I haven't seen this in a long time. Probably since it came out. I believe he plays a Russian immigrant. Moscow on the Hudson. 1984. Very dark, dark. This is George Orwell picture. And was was somewhat scary, had a lot of similarities to what's going on in today's media and in today's society, society. 1984. Great film. Very good film. Very dark also though. So if you're in any kind of a, a shitty mood, I wouldn't recommend watching this. So 1984. Our man Flint. I, don't, I can't remember if this is the first one or the second one, though, but again, they go together. Definitely worth a watch. Just a fun watch. Our Man Flint. With James Coburn. James Coburn was like one of the original kind of Playboy actors. I guess he was a Bruce Pitt before Bruce Pitt was Bruce, with Bruce Pitt, so that kind of guy. The, the, the man's man. James Coburn and Our Man Flint. This is a Al Pacino, a young Al Pacino movie. The Panic in Needle Park, I believe is dealing with the heroin epidemic. I haven't seen this.
Okay, young Al Pacino. Philadelphia with Denzel and Tom Hanks dealing with HIV and AIDS. Next we have Bruce Lee's son, late son, Brandon Lee and Powers Booth and Rapid Fire. I think this is what this is the one he did before the crow. Unfortunately, that's the crow's most one that he actually died on. Fun action film, Rapid Fire. We have the original Rollerball. I actually have the remake also with LL Cool J. It's an interesting film. I think it has more social messages than anything, anything else. Rollerball. We have Scorpio. I know this is another Twilight Time sale. This is the espionage spy film. Scorpio. Burt Lancaster. This is a very cool film. I don't remember a lot a lot about it, but I remember just really liking it. Ben Kingsley and Sexy Beast. It's one of those movies that you didn't think was gonna be that cool, and then some of it trying to be that cool, it just turns out to be that cool. Opposed to other films, and one that comes to mind is Counselor. They're just really trying too hard. This is a really good gangster movie, Sexy Beast with Ben Kingsley. Scream and Scream Again. I watched this this year. Is this Vincent Price? Yes, Vincent Price and Christopher Lee. So it's a fun classic horror type of film. If it's Vincent Price, you know it's right. So Scream and Scream Again. This technically is a chick flick, but because Tom Hanks in it, he kind of takes a little bit of the chickness out of it. It makes it somewhat funny. Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan is Sleepless in Seattle. Here we have a Jackie Chan double feature, Drunken Master and Snake and the Eagle's Shadow. Again, this is early Jackie Chan, so you can see crazy stunts. And this is his own brand of Jackie Chan humor with great athlet athleticism and, and just stunts. Both great films, Snake, Snake and the Eagle's Shadow and Drunken Master. And Drunken Master is so cool, they actually made a remake. Or a, a sequel, I should say, not a remake, a sequel. Saint Va the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. This is a different type of watch for me. The guy who they, had, who they played Scarface, I guess I was kind of comparing it to the Robert De Niro Scarface. He just seemed really soft compared to Robert De Niro's Scarface and The Untouchables. But it was still a decent watch. The, the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Strange Invaders, cool early sci-fi flick, I believe this is like 60s or something, 60s, 70s, I'm not sure when this was made, but 
fun Space Invaders type of movie. A little cheese to it, but still a good watch. Strange Invaders. Yeah, my girl Lena Horn and Stormy Weather, which I think this movie has the most sultry scene I've ever seen her in, where she sings the actual song Stormy Weather. And this is a Lena Horn, Bill Robinson, and Cab Calloway. And this is the epitome of early black film, Stormy Weather. Another double feature. Support your local sheriff, support your local gunfighter, which is funny because they're, they're like two totally different movies. They're not related at all. I'm a big James Garner fan from The Rockford Files. I watched that growing up as a kid. So two very fun watches. Theater of Blood, another Vincent Price movie. I'm not sure if I watched this one or not, but again, if it's Vincent Price, Price, this has to be right, so you can't really go wrong with Vincent Price. It's his own type of, of horror. Theater of Blood. Oh, I haven't seen this because he has an afro. I've never seen Vincent Price in an afro, so I'm going to have to watch it just for that to see him in an afro. To Serve With Love with Cindy Poitier. I have not seen this. My wife tells me not to watch it because she knows it would probably piss me off. She said it would piss me off. She said I wouldn't like it though. But maybe one of those overly happy, happily day, days I have every once in a while. Maybe I'll watch this. To Serve With Love, Cindy Poitier. Also one of my favorite actors. U-Turn. Again, I saw this a long time ago with a young... Um, Sean Penn and uh, very young. I'm just very bad with names today. I know that the, her name, Jennifer Lopez. I'm brain farts all over today. U turn. Interesting film. Used Cars with Kurt Russell. Great comedy. The Vanishing. I haven't seen this one. This has a young Kiefer Sutherland and Jeff Bridges. It's more of a, a suspense thriller, The Vanishing. John Carpenter's Vampires, uh, another another fun vampire vampire watch. Uh, young James Wood. I believe I actually got this and the blob together as a. Double deal on a eBay auction. Got a good deal on these. Wild at Heart with Nicolas Cage and Laura Dern. Haven't watched this, but it's Nicolas Cage, so you know it's got to be someone off the hook. Just especially if he's a young Nicolas Cage, he just has a way about him that's very unique. He's very Nicholas. Wild at Heart. We have The World of Henry Orient, Peter Sellers. Don't know a lot about this, just from reading the back of it. But I like Peter Sellers, very unique actor. And this looks like a fun watch. The World of Harry, excuse me, Henry Orient. And this is a strange one. I started watching this and never finished it. Zardoz. And it's just very odd. This the, the first 
opening, I think I watched the first 10 or 15 minutes. It's a, a young Sean Connery, very hairy Sean Connery. Zardoz. And now we'll get into the 3D section of Twilight, which I haven't watched any of these. Gun Fury 3D, but again, I like my 3D picture, so. Let's just move for a 3D Western. I'll definitely pop this in. Yeah, that's Rock Hudson, I believe. Is that the Rock? Yep, Rock Hudson. Gum Fury. Harlock, Space Pirates 3D. This is kind of an anime, I believe. I'm not sure. But they have two versions of it because there's two discs. I believe they have the Japanese version and the American version. And a nice thick book, a little bit thicker than the, than the ordinary Twilight book. Harlock. Inferno. Have the Mad Magician. Looks like Vincent. Is that Vincent? Yep, that's Vincent. Vincent Price, so it must be right. And actually some of the 3D black and white pictures look way cool. You you would you wouldn't think they'd be as cool as the color, but they really are. They have had an amazing way of shooting with black and white back then that make the picture stand out and really pop. Even with 3D, so very cool. The mad. Mad Magician. You have the Man in the Dark. It's a suspense thriller. Looks like kind of Alfred Hitchcock type of film. And the last one. Miss Sadie Thompson in 3D. This is my Twilight Time collection. If you've seen any of these, if you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed yet, as I mentioned before, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. If nothing else, if nothing else, give me the big thumbs up. Other than that, you guys have a great day. Peace.